What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of the interwebs? Uh, I'm here to show you how to get onto my server. Now, I know I've made probably about four or five of these videos in the past because things keep changing. They've changed yet again, but this time it's super easy and pretty much anybody can get on here. I, I kid you not, it's that easy. Um, it's literally like two steps. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, you're going to open up a web browser here, and you're going to type in the address technicpack.net. Or you could just click the link in the description, and it's going to bring you to this website. Uh, this is the Technic Pack website, and on here they have um, Technic 6 SSP, or they have Techit 2.0, which is what the server is. So what we want to do is we want to download the Techit 2.0. All right, so you're going to go there, and you're going to scroll down, and you're going to download either the Windows or the Mac and uh, Mac and Linux version, whichever one uh, applies to you. Right? And it's got all these mods in it. So when you ask, well, what mods does it have in it? These are the list of mods. All right. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click here, download the whichever one you have. All right. Technic at EXE right here I have now. You're going to click on it and hit run. What's going to happen is this will come up on the screen. And then you'll get this little browser right here or this little launcher. Now, this is very similar to your Minecraft launcher. And I'll bring up Minecraft just so you can see. All right. So you see you have the two, and what it asks is for your username and password, same thing that Minecraft asks for. And the beautiful thing about this is, say you have your mods and everything installed, in, installed already on your Minecraft, or maybe you want to play the newest version of Minecraft. You could still do that, because the Techit launcher has nothing to do with your actual Minecraft. Whoops. It has nothing to do with your actual Minecraft. So anything that you do with this one has no, no bearing on your actual Minecraft. So that's a very good thing. So you can keep all your mods or all your existing files the way they are without doing anything that, you know, can cause you to have issues. So uh, we're just going to exit out of that. And then you have your choice here. You have a drop down of Technic, Vanilla, or Techit. Now you can run your regular Minecraft straight through this. So you don't really need to worry about that. But um, you can run Technic, which Technic has more mods than Techit. Techit has a few mods because they are... Um, not every mod is uh, multiplayer capable, so you're going to run Techit in order to get onto the server. If you want to run anything else, you can do it differently. Um, what you want to do is you want to go into options, too. This is a, a very helpful tip for anybody that may have uh, lag issues or just frame rate issues when you first boot it up. Um, down here it says memory to allocate. I have it at 4 gigs. Um, depending on your, your computer and how many gigs of memory you have, you might want to up it to either 2 or uh, 4 or 8 or 16 if you have that much uh, you know RAM if, if it's really causing lag but 4 is good for me I don't seem to experience any lag with this I get a really good frame rate so you don't have to worry about that but I would set it to 4 gigs before you start um, or start off normal and see how it works for you your computer may be better than mine I don't know alright and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna hit login it's gonna check Minecraft this what it does is it automatically checks Minecraft and um, the newest version of Techit out and updates it to that. So it won't be 1.2 because there's no Techit for 1.2 yet, but Techit is on 1.1. So you see how it looks exactly like a normal Minecraft uh, thing. It says Minecraft 1.1. Even though 1.2 is out, it's not going to upgrade, so you don't have to worry about that. And you can add in texture packs if you want the same way you normally do. Uh, you just have to find this in your the same way you would add in your texture packs. It's right there. It's just not in your dot Minecraft. It says uh, tech Minecraft launcher or something like that. And you just put your texture packs in that. Then you go to multiplayer. And my new server IP is uh, 184.154.172.164.25565. That's the new IP. It changed, um, and you can come on. We changed hosts. Uh, we have a new world up, and it's running Tekka 2.0. Um, none of the permissions are done as far as if you had a donator status on our server before. That hasn't been done yet, but it is absolutely open. Everybody can come on and play. Uh, once we have all those um, permissions in place, we will be changing people back to their server ranks that were originally there. And um, anybody that hasn't donated yet will be put as a guest. Um, our server does require some sort of donation, whether it's 3 or $10. And um, you can find out more about those on the server itself if you want to know. But for right now, it's open to everybody, so you can come and enjoy it. Probably within the next day or two, we'll have the permissions worked out. But I hope to see you guys there. If you have any questions, feel, feel free to ask. But honestly, this is the easiest mod install I've ever had to do. So that's about it, guys. I'll see you on the server. Hope to see you there. And that's it.
Peace out.